Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and as expected Apple has just released iOS 18.4.1 Now this is a small update coming right after the release of iOS 18.4 and of course in between 18.4 and the new expected iOS 18.5 which will come later in May So if your update today or your plan to updating your device in the next few days was which I suggest you do to the new iOS 18.4.1. Here are five things that you must do on your device once you have your device updated. Now, the first thing I suggest you do is make sure that you have your apps up to date. Usually after an iOS release, there will be also releases for new app updates. A lot of apps, usually the most popular ones will update their apps. So make sure you update them on your device as well. Though of course, two different ways to do that. The first one, if you just don't want to bother with updating your apps, you can simply head on to your settings and then just scroll here to apps and then find the app store section here and just make sure you have app updates enabled on the automatic downloads and you're good to go. Your apps will be all updated automatically every time there's a new update. Or if you wanna do that manually, you can also do that. Simply head on to your app store app and then go to your account right there and make sure you have all of your apps up to date directly from here. Now, another thing you must update after you have updated your device to a new iOS software, in this case, we're talking about 18.4.1, is your carrier. This won't be for everyone, but for some of the users there will be a carrier update usually after an update of iOS, but everyone needs to check and see if they have a carrier update or not. To do that, head on to your settings under general right here, go to the about section and all you have to do is just stay there for like 10 seconds. If there's an update, it will pop up on the screen. You tap download and you're good to go. You don't need to actually do anything else. It's installed in a couple of seconds. Now, another really interesting thing and something that happened actually earlier this year with the release of iOS 18.2.1, I believe, was that a lot of people were seeing features like Apple Intelligence being enabled automatically. Now, if you don't use Apple Intelligence on your device, you have it turned off, you update your device, it would turn on automatically. That is of course really interesting and very annoying for a lot of users. So what I suggest you do after you have updated your device to iOS 18.4.1, but even when you update to the next releases that will happen in the next weeks or months, make sure that you always check some of the main features like Apple intelligence and see if it actually has enabled it automatically by itself because it has actually happened to a lot of iPhone users. Next up, make sure to check the battery health of your device, especially if you have a device that has the battery health close to 80%. Now, as you know, with the battery being under 80% on the battery health, it will actually perform really, really bad and you will need to replace the battery of your device. Otherwise, you're not getting good battery, you're also getting very poor performance. So what I suggest you do is go ahead and check if the battery health is still over 80%, which is the, the limit from which your device will perform as it should. Why I'm saying that, that is because when you update your device is usually when the capacity here, the maximum capacity will change because it might stay like mine here at 91 for a really long time, like for a few weeks or even months. And then once you have updated to a software update, it might drop three or four points. So you need to actually make sure that you check this and make sure that it's over 80%. And last but not least, make sure that you have auto updates enabled on your device, especially security responses. Now there will be of course minor updates and security responses released in the meantime between like different big updates of iOS. So you wanna make sure that you have your automatic updates enabled. So anytime there's something really important that of course doesn't bring any new features, but it's important when it comes to your security and privacy, you make sure that you have those updates enabled and installed. So make sure you have all of these three here enabled so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash that like button and of course subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one